In this video, we will get a quick look at our helical pier system, how we install it, and under what circumstances we use it. This is what helical piers look like. This homeowner's chimney was tilting and they wanted to straighten it out. You can see that the gap here is actually pretty big. Structural issues with your chimney can be indicative of structural damage to the house in general. This homeowner wisely wanted to get it taken care of right away. What are helical piers? Helical piers are made of steel and have a set of helical blades in the lower section. Using construction equipment, they are screwed into the soil. How deep they go depends on your problem and the kind of soil you have. But the idea is to keep going until you hit stable soil that won't move. If you want to know how your type of soil affects your foundation, subscribe and click on the bell notification so that you don't miss the video when it posts. How are helical piers installed? If you're familiar with our push pier system, you'll notice that helical piers are very similar. If you don't know about our push pier system, a link with more information will be in the description. Helical piers are installed in sections. The first section that we put into the ground has the helical blades that screw into the dirt. The additional segments that don't have blades are then added to make the pier as long as it needs to be. There will be another video about helical piers in the description that goes more in depth about how they work to stabilize your foundation. Step one of the installation. The soil has to be excavated to expose the footing. Step two, a section of the footing will be cut away so that the steel bracket connected to the pier can support the wall directly. After the footing is chipped away, the guys have to dig underneath the footing as well. Step three, the helical piers are put into the ground until load-bearing soil is reached, and then brackets are installed. This is gonna to attach to that, it's a hydraulic driller. So we can put those in place, start drilling them in. We are gonna lock pins and make sure it's as close and tight as it to the structure as possible. Oh, let's do it. To give the stability. Step four. After these steps, all settlement of your foundation will be permanently halted. From this point, our foundation specialists can determine if it makes sense to now attempt to lift the foundation to its original position. In a lot of cases, we can raise the foundation to look as good as new, closing cracks and allowing doors, windows, and locks to function properly again. After everything is finished, the dirt will be put back and the work area will be cleaned up. When should you install helical piers? Helical piers are ideal for lighter structures like decks, stairs, and chimneys because they don't need the weight of the structure to drive them into the soil. Our next video on helical piers will cover more details on when you want to use them. So you want to subscribe and click on the little bell so you don't miss it when it comes out. Does our helical pier system make sense to you? How do you think it compares to other systems? Tell us in the comments. Share this video if you think it will help someone and give it a thumbs up if it helped you. Stay tuned for more videos. In the meantime, check out our website and visit us on Facebook, all in the video description below.